Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Kansas Jayhawks Dynasty. It's been a real long time. Uploaded a video the other day calling it The Return, and that's because we are back. I live streamed about a week or two ago, um, and I had a nice conversation in the chat about this series and a series I have coming up. I want to do a brand new, more kind of like IRL, like press conferences and news conferences type of NCAA football dynasty. I asked if I should play one more year or if I should do the series right now. But I kind of want to wait for the new rosters to come out. That is what I'm waiting for. As in the video right now, you can see you're getting all caught up on the stats we're doing. We're 10-2 and two right now, 8-1 the conference in the bowl game. We made the Orange Bowl actually to advance. You see Middle Tennessee State and Troy are in the championship. It looks like, I don't even know, I think it's conference championship this week as long as they both win they are, which is so annoying that they always give those teams. If you're undefeated, you are bound to be number one or number two in the nation. It doesn't matter who you play, your strength, schedule, any of that. But I mean, this is NCAA for football 14. You can't uh, can't really do anything about it. It's way in the past, but like I was saying, should I update for should I wait for the updated rosters and bring out this big new NCAA football 14 dynasty or would you guys see would you guys rather just see it now with these rosters or would you like to see me go one more year at the Kansas Dynasty or would you like to just see a break in NCAA football and we just keep going along um, that's up to you guys. I know that's a lot of options. You guys just let me know in the comment section which one you want. You want me to do another year Kansas? You want me to take a break? Or you want me to do right now the next series without the rosters? Or we can wait to do the rosters. It is up to you guys. You guys let me know. As you see, we get Pitt in the Orange Bowl. Number 12 versus number 11. We're going to get it into this commentary here. It's good to be back. I'm excited to be back. One more thing, I guess, before I get into the commentary is I'm going to try to get back into the YouTube, but I don't think it's going to be every day to start. It's probably going to be a few episodes a week to see if you guys are enjoying what I'm putting out. Um, I know it's been a really long break, and I apologize for that one, but we're back into it. Here we go with the NCAA football dynasty. Number 11, Pitt. Number 12, Kansas in the Orange Bowl. So they have the number two rush offense. We had the number 13 pass offense. It's going to be our strength versus their strength. They run kind of a little bit of an option offense. A very solid, just a pro style team. This isn't a team that's going to spread us out and really get up and down the field on us. This is a team that's going to try to just wear us down, wear us out, try to cause turnovers, control the clock. But we are looking to end off this year the best year we've had so far in this series. Started off terribly in the series, if you remember, and now working our way to the top 10 and 2 right now, playing in the Orange Bowl. Trying to get a big Orange Bowl victory here. We are ready to get this thing rolling. Here we go the Orange Bowl pit, Kansas Jayhawks. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you hit the like button if you're excited for the rest of this episode. And here comes kickoff. Stanley boots this one down the field out of the back of the end zone. And that's going to start Pitt at the 25-yard line. Here they are with their first play of the game. It's going to be the option. Danucci, the QB, is going to be taken down for a loss of three. And that's a great start by this defense. Mike Thomas with the tackle for a loss. And here comes Morris in motion on second and 13. Danucci's going to be taken down again in the backfield. A loss of two. Sets up a third and 15 on the first drive. T trying to force a three and out. A lot of time in the pocket. Throws off his back foot to nobody. That's incomplete in a three and out. Ryan Willis in this offense starts out. Right around midfield as Ryan Shadler with a nice 9-yard run. You see his stats in this year. 20, 1,200 yards so far. Had a very fantastic season. Getting the running game going finally in this uh, series as he gets a 6-yard gain there. And a first down. That's first and 10. Set up the play action. Throwing it down the middle of the field. We find more, but he drops it. First pass is incomplete. Now second and 10. Here's Willis. Pressure right away. Bounces off of it. Checks it down to Shadler, who breaks a couple tackles there. And he picks up seven yards. Sent up a third and three. Ryan Willis dropping back. The pressure out the middle. Dumps this one down to Shadler. Shadler gets blown up right at the first down marker. We're going for it, though. Fourth and inches. Shadler gets around the outside. He picks up a block and a nice run on fourth and inches. A 12-yard rush for Ryan Shadler. Second and 10. Now we're going to run the motion. Here is Ryan Willis. Just take this one up to go. Six-yard run. Third and four now inside the 15-yard line. Willis throws over the middle. Finds Sternberger. Sternberger falls into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas Jayhawks. And we take the lead here. A nice three and out force by the defense and the offense. Converts on fourth and inches with good field position. And gets the first score of the day. Jay Sternberger over the middle. He's been such a big target for us all year long. And it's going to be tough to see him go. As we're going to kick the extra point here. 
What a start there by this team. <laughs> that's almost blocked, actually. I actually thought it might have been blocked, but that's all right. We're going to see the Jayhawk do the push-ups here. But Jay Sturberger, he's going to be a huge loss for this team if we do decide to go into the next year. I'm excited to get the recruits um, coming in the next year. Uh, as I apparently I just decided to leave this clip in here, but that's all right. I have a lot of talking to do this series. We're way behind, but as I take forever to click the kickoff, that's all right. Um, but like I said, it's going to be tough to see some of these guys go, and this is really going to be a huge flip in the dynasty. I believe Shadler's leaving, Sternberger, and a few guys on defense. I know Alex Manning's a big guy, that, though, that we do have on this team. Ryan Willis I think is gone as well as we start out this year with start out this series with Montel Cozart. But it's just a bit it's gonna be a big change in this series. And uh hopefully, you know, if we do go into next year we can really turn around and have another big year. But let's get back into the play by play as I left that all uncut. Just showing you guys the raw footage. But here we are third and five Pittsburgh's gonna get a pass over the middle and that's gonna be a nine yard reception there as they're in the Kansas territory. First and ten Danucci's gonna pitch this one out to Moss. Moss around the left Left side Moss is going to pick up the first down and some more 15 yard run for Shantez Moss. Danucci now he's going to drop back again. A good pocket throws this one to the end zone and it is batted away by Tyrone Miller Jr. A big time play at the safety position. That's a fourth and 17. They're going to kick the field goal and that is no good. He left it short actually right before he kicked this on fourth and 12. They had a false start penalty backed him up even more and that proved to be kind of costly there as he had quite a bit of leg into that one. Didn't quite make it though and now it is. Kansas really trying to take over this game a seven yard rush second and three doing the Wildcat gonna hand this one off to Martin and this was just not a very good play call a loss of two third and five now Ryan Willis is dropping back he's gonna throw this one over the middle he's gonna find Harrell chase Harrell seven yard reception now first and ten Ryan Willis dropping back he's throwing this one to the right side he's gonna find Patrick but just out of bounds Setting up a third and seven. Play action. Dropping back Willis. Throwing over the middle. He's going to find Shadler for a nice completion inside the 10. That's a 23-yard completion. First and goal. Ryan Willis is sacked. A loss of nine. Second and goal. We're going to run the triple option. We're going to fake this one to Shadler. Keep it. Pitch this one to Moore. Moore's going to juke. Gets a spin. He's going to pick up only three. A third and goal from about the 13-yard line. Willis. He's got a good pocket, but time runs out. He's sacked for a loss of seven. Setting up a fourth and goal, and we'd have to kick the field goal. It's a 10 to nothing game. Now here's Shantez Moss on the pitch once again. Manning shoves him out of bounds after a 15-yard pickup. I guess I just didn't show the rest of that drive. My editing was very poor, I guess, when I'm coming back. A little rusty, I see, but they did punt, I believe, on a three and out. So there wasn't a whole lot to see there uh, after they got the first down three plays, and then they punted. I'm just all over the place right now, but that's all right. Third and one, Ryan Shadler up the middle. He's going to get three-yard rush in a first down. Second and five, Ryan Willis dropping back. He throws over the middle. He's going to find Jay Sternberger. Sternberger is going to pick up a nice gain of 12 in the first down. Second and 10. There's under a minute to play here in the second quarter. Chase Harrell. He's going to get a nice completion there. He's going to fight forward for 11 yards in the first down. Now it's going to be a play action to Shadler. Willis, he's going to be hit. He's going to fumble. Weaver's going to pick this one up. He's got a lot of room in front of him. Look at the big man go. He's going, and he's going to get chased down by Shadler, who breaks off the tackle, and Weaver is into the end zone. Zone. Rashad Weaver that was rumbling and tumbling the defensive end all the way down the field Ryan Willis gets sacked fumbles drops it there in the red zone and Pitt just really swung some momentum back to their side. A nice drive here. We get momentum back on our side. Evan Ferris with a nice completion. Willis throws it in the middle of the Herald now. Getting close to midfield at eight yard reception. Second and two after the timeout. Willis throws it in the middle of Sternberger. Sternberger with a nice completion to about the 33 yard line. 150 passing yards here in the first half. Under 15 seconds to play. It's first and 10. Willis gets hit as he throws. That one was close. Second and 10. Willis dropping back. Here comes the pressure again. Hit as he throws. It's intercepted by Covington. Two turnovers late here by Ryan Willis will send us into the half. A 10-7 game that easily could have been 17-0 or at the very least 13-0 in the half. He fumbled. Weaver picked it up. Shadler chased him down, but at the five-yard line, it's a little too late to bring, on a, to bring down a big man like that. And we got ourselves a game going into the second half here. It is 10-7. Kansas Jayhawks are up top. And it's Jay Sternberger touchdown. And a Weaver fumble recovery about 80-something yards for the touchdown. We're into the second half. It's a big second half to win the Orange Bowl. We're going to find Evan Fares for a 17-yard completion. First and 10, Willis over the middle. He's going to find Evan Fares again. Evan Fares with a big completion to about the 30-yard line, 26-yard reception. 
first and ten. Ryan Willis, he's dropping back. He's going to scramble right with it. He's going to be hit, and he's going to be sacked for a loss of five. Second and 15, Ryan Willis is dropping back. He's going to throw right. He's going to find Harrell. Harrell on the right side is going to get a nine-yard reception on third and six. Willis is dropping back again. Floating this one left side. That one is almost picked off. But incomplete, we're going to have to settle for a field goal. 13-7 lead, a six-point lead here as Danucci in the offense gets the ball. He's going to find Brown over the middle. Good patience there in third and 15. Tariq Brown with a 24-yard reception. Second and 11 now here, Shantez Moss. He's going to pick up four yards. He's going to leave a third and seven. Danucci dropping back. Danucci dropping this one down to the right side to Robinson. He's going to lose a yard there. And the Kansas Jayhawks offense is back on the field. Still a six-point lead. A five-yard reception by Shadler. Sets up a second and five. It's Shadler again running up the middle. He's going to find about four yards there. It's going to be third and one. Giving this one to Martin. Martin up the middle. He's going to fight forward for two yards and the first down. First and ten. Here's Harrell in motion. Willis dropping back. He's going to throw this one left to Sternberger. Sternberger with nine yards and a nice completion there. Now it's third and one. Getting this one to Shadler up the middle. Shadler's going to get a nice run there to about the 45-yard line and nine-yard rush. First and ten is Ryan Shadler again breaking off a tackle. Shadler up the middle for eight yards. 30 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. A pump fake there by Willis. Plenty of time. He's just going to step up and he's going to pick up the first down with the slide. First and ten. Now here's Harrell in motion. Willis dropping back again. He's looking. He's looking. He's hit as he throws. He lobs it left side. He finds Sternberger for a 27-yard completion. Second and seven, Ryan Willis. He's going to find Sternberger over the middle. Touchdown, Kansas Jayhawks. Sternberger, 12-yard reception for the touchdown. His second of the day. Look at Willis' stats. 250 yards, two touchdowns, and that one interception late in the first half. Uh, and they're gonna, we're going to go for the two-point conversion now with Shadler. He's going to try to cut it back. He's not going to get there. We have the 19-7 lead, though. Danucci hands this one off to Shantez Moss. Shantez Moss trying to bring it back in. This is where Pitt is not good. When they're down by this much in the fourth quarter, it's hard for them to come back from this because they're a ground-and-pound type of team, but they're staying with it. A five-yard rush. Going to keep it going with a triple option. Danucci breaks off a tackle. Pitch this one to Evans. A weird pitch there. He's going to pick up seven yards. Now 79 yards rushing on the day for Pitt. Hit. Second and three, Danucci's going to keep this one. He's going to get around the outside. He's going to be taken down, but not for a six-yard gain on the first down. Third and 11, Danucci dropping back. He's going to be hit as he throws, but he finds his receiver Morris over the middle, a 19-yard reception. Second and five now. Parker in motion. Going to fake this one to Moss. It's going to be Danucci for a first down, a seven-yard rush there. Third and 16 now. Danucci dropping back. He's looking. He's got time. He's going to throw over the middle. That one is intercepted. Tyrone Miller Jr. with three minutes to play. He's going to try to take this one out of the end zone, though. And he's tackled at the one-yard line, so he makes a great play on the interception. And then a bonehead play running out to the one-yard line. We're going to be dropped way back in our own territory here at the one-yard line. But a nice play by Tyrone Miller Jr. First and 10, Shadler. He's going to run this one out the middle and give us some breathing room here. And it's dangerous time here for the Pitt Panthers now as we're going to try to pound it on the ground now for two and a half minutes and see what we can do. 2.20 to play here. Now going to get the Shadler again on first and 10. He's going to find some room on the right side for a five-yard rush. 2.15 to play now. Shadler up the middle again. We're just pounding it on the ground. 10-yard rush. The second timeout by Pitt with 2.12 to go. Shadler four-yard run. The last timeout by Pitt. Two minutes to go. Shadler, second and six. He's taken down third and two. This is probably for the game. Shadler, up the middle. He's tackled, but he's going to get the first down. And your Kansas Jayhawks are Orange Bowl winners. We're going to get the Orange Bowl trophy here. The Kansas Jayhawks, what a game. A very solid game. Just a pit offense could not get anything going Forced a turnover there late that really got all the momentum back to our side. Got a few first downs at the end of this game. The only play really that went well for Pitt there was the fumble recovery for a touchdown. It really gave him a chance to win this game. But Kansas, they responded well like we have all year long. Get a bow out 11 and 2. 8 and 1 in the conference, 11 and 2 in Orange Bowl champs. What a year it's been. The confetti falling down. Alan McPherson, the coach. Just still has the headset on. He's still going to talk to the dudes up in the booth. You know how it is. You know how this game is. Jay Sternberger, six catches, 93 yards, and two touchdowns. He's player of the game. And there's those oranges. We're champs. Orange Bowl champions. What a feeling that is. 
It's good. If we end the series right after this game, it was quite the series. Had a rough, rough start. I raged at this game a couple of times at the beginning of the series. But to come out on top like that, to end this, I believe, fourth year with the Kansas Jayhawks with Orange Bowl victory, that is that is what you love to see. You love to see the progression. If we do have another year, hopefully can keep contending and maybe go on for a national championship. You guys are deciding that, though. You guys let me know in the comment section what I should do. That's a nice W for the Kansas Jayhawks. I apologize for the crappy commentary, the crappy editing, but I'm trying to bring this channel back to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the comment content and you guys were missing out. On, you guys were missing all the content and I am was missing out bringing it to you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode though. I will be back soon for some more episodes. Let me know in the comment section. That will be really the determining factor on what happens next in this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, I'm out. Peace.